Good evening, Minnesota Wild fans and Iowa Wild Nation. I'm joined here tonight with Caden Banker from the Iowa Wild. Caden, how's how's it going today? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. So I just want to start off by saying you've had an amazing season so far this year, but can you tell us a little bit about yourself? How did you get into hockey? Were there any family members that kind of drew you towards it, or is it something you just kind of gravitated towards over time? Yeah, my... Uh... I'm uh, me and my brother are the the youngest in the family, so we uh, we got a little bit of a later jump than uh, some other relatives. But uh, they grew up playing hockey, and um, they they were uh, playing pretty high level. And me and my brother would go and and watch, and um, you know we we fell in love with it, and um, started out small at some some public skates with with our relatives, and then. Um, from there, it kind of took off to to play an organized hockey and um, just continue to enjoy it and like it. And um, I guess I followed that all the way up to here. Do you have any special memories of that time kind of watching other family members play? Anything that sticks out to you as one of your favorite games when you were younger? Um, me and my brother are pretty close. So anytime he had a good night or a good good game, that would always be pretty special. But um Nothing nothing too crazy sticks out. You spent several seasons playing for the Kamloops Blazers. What was your time like playing there? And more specifically, what was it like playing with fellow Minnesota Wild prospect Kyle Masters? Yeah, it's uh Kalmus was great. I couldn't have been more lucky to get a, a better organization. Um, you know, moving away from home at, at 15 years old, you know, you don't really know what to expect, but um, the way they treated me and um the guys that we had and on the team, um just welcomed me so so well and um I couldn't have been couldn't have been better for me my development and getting to this stage and obviously in my last year playing with Kyle it uh it was pretty fun obviously we had known each other from previous camps and um being together in that regard and then uh playing our last uh junior season together was pretty special and some pretty good memories obviously with it being a Memorial Cup season any behind the scenes memories or stories you want to share about Kyle are you kind of keeping those under wraps? Uh there's nothing nothing too crazy with Kyle. He um nothing that I can't share, but um I, I would say one thing is he loves he loves his Star Wars. He was always watching uh Star Wars on the bus. I, I swear I think I watched every Star Wars movie and series with him, just being from behind and watching. Do you have a favorite movie that sticks out from watching all those movies with Kyle Masters then? Or uh I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Star Wars fan. They all kind of seem the same to me, but uh, I bet if I really, truly got into it and understood it more, they I would probably have one. What was it like playing in the World Junior Tournament? Did you play with any of your fellow Iowa Wild uh, players? And if you played against them, what's it like playing against them? Do you find that you approach the game any differently, or do you still play it the same way, knowing that it's your future teammate? Yeah, any chance you get to play for your country is pretty special. Um, that was that was my first time playing for Canada, and um, it was a lifelong dream to play in that tournament and to play for Canada. So, um, and obviously to win it was was even better. Um, on the we had a pretty good team that that year, but um, you know, going against guys that Minnesota had drafted, we. We met up with a, a few of them and uh, at the tournament played against them. Oddly enough, every time I, I went out there, it was usually against the face off against them. So we were face to face. So that was pretty funny. But um, yeah, it's it's just cool to, to see them in, in different roles and on different teams and uh, just kind of shows how you know versatile they can be. And um, it was just uh, pretty cool to be a part of. So where is your medal currently from your World Junior Championship? Um, I think it's, a, it's at my house and, um, it's beside, uh, you know, the Jersey I wore in the finals and it's all framed up, uh, nicely. My mom did a pretty good job with it. So <laughs> hats off to moms. They always seem to know how to do just the right stuff with that stuff. Yeah. She, uh, she hit it out of the park with that one. So you were selected in the third round back in 2021. What do you remember about draft day as you went through it? Yeah, it's funny. So I was drafted in the COVID draft. So um, obviously it was all online or on TV. So um, <laughs> I actually had no idea what to expect going into it. So um, just kind of woke up in the morning through on NHL network and um, just was watching the, the first couple rounds and uh, 
me and my family were just kind of sitting on the couch and all of a sudden Minnesota's pick pops up and it was my name. And, um, at first it didn't even, it didn't even really register that, that that's me on the screen. That's my name. And, um, once it finally set in, it was, it was pretty awesome just being able to share it there with, uh, all my family and, uh, some friends. So it was, uh, something I'll remember forever just to being at home and, um, in a unique situation. Prior to the draft, then, did you have any discussions with Bill Guerin? Did you kind of know that Minnesota was one of those teams that was interested in you? Um, throughout the whole draft process, it's it's pretty hectic. All the different teams reaching out and um wanting to uh to talk to you. But uh, it's funny the the morning before the draft, um, Minnesota called with one one last uh, check in, and um honestly, I felt like it had it was my best interview I had done before before the draft and um every time their pick came along i i kind of had this uh weird feeling that it, it could be them and um lucky for me it uh ended up working out and um i guess here we are fans are curious to know can you share what are some of the questions they ask you during the draft or are those ones that are kind of kept back behind closed doors yeah sometimes you see those on social media those crazy questions they ask you and uh, all that kind of stuff but um minnesota's was was pretty straightforward trying to just get to know you as a person and what kind of player you are and uh they didn't really throw any curveballs at me and um but uh i was ready for them i had gotten a couple beforehand but uh um yeah like i said it was it was probably the best interview i did i felt uh the most uh relaxed i guess because they're pretty stressful interviews so um i guess you could say it worked out as you grew up and following along with hockey did you have any players that you absolutely were kind of your favorite or any that you tried to model your game after as you are going through your career yeah it's funny being on Minnesota now, my favorite team growing up was the Chicago Blackhawks. And uh, I loved, I love Jonathan Taze. Uh, he's where, why I wear 19. And um, I've tried to emulate my game as, as much like him as I can. Um, with him not playing now, I've kind of, kind of moved around to different type of players. But when he was playing every time Chicago, Chicago was on TV, I was tuned in and I was watching him and just trying to emulate it as best I could. So as you prepare for each game, do you have a certain routine or how do you get ready for the games down in Iowa? Um, I'm not too superstitious, but I have certain things I do. I have to have, you know, certain things done by certain time. I got to like have my skates tied uh, at a certain time, you know, start getting dressed at the same time. But other than that, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm focused and in and ready to go sit through the meetings, know what the game plan is and, but uh, other than that, I, I like to be as relaxed and uh, as comfortable as I can before the game. Now, back in December, you got possibly one of the best Christmas gifts ever. You actually scored your first Iowa Wild goal back on the 15th. What do you remember about that goal? What sticks out to you about it? Uh, I just remember it being just such a long road to get that to that point and uh, just a right huge dash. sigh of relief to, to finally score. Um, obviously, it was on the power score. play and uh, against Bank Rockford, so pretty big rival team. And, um, you know, the lane just kind of opened up and I was hoping uh, Juge would see me back door and he did. And um, I just tried to hit it as hard as I could. And to be honest, I didn't know it went in at first. I had to give a little second look, second glance to to make sure it found the back of the net. So as you reflect going forward in the future and you think about your upcoming career, is there a team that you would like to face off against in your first NHL game? And if, more importantly, who would you like to score your first NHL goal against? Um, First NHL goal. Probably you have to be against somebody pretty, pretty big, like, um, I'd love to score against Basilevsky. That would be a pretty cool first goal to, to score against. But um, to be honest, I I don't really doesn't really matter to me as long as uh, if if it goes in, it goes in, and uh, I think I'd be uh, happy regardless. Now, if you have the chance to go up against Basilevsky, is there any certain way that you'd like to do it? One timer, slap shot, shootout, winning goal? Yeah, I'm probably winning goal and just kind of shoot it as hard as I can and hope it finds some back of the net. You've actually have faced some very tough opponents off the ice. Earlier this season, you took on Carson Lambos in a gift wrapping challenge, and most recently you took on Damian Hunt in a tic-tac-toe challenge. 
Are those just things that you kind of find yourself gravitating towards? Or is that something you kind of look for those opportunities to be able to share that with the fans? Uh, a little bit of both. Sometimes, um, you know, the, the social media team will pull you aside and, and be like, hey, would you would you be interested in doing that? And most of the time I'll, I'll, I'll be able to I'll say yes and I'll do it. And uh, but there's other times I, I think it's, you know, give back and, the, you know, the fans want to see what you're you're like off the ice as well. So give them a little uh, inside look at uh, how bad my tic-tac-toe was. <laughs> In the season when I interviewed uh, Carson, he did mention that following that, he did decide to go on and YouTube it or else he's getting Amazon Prime to wrap his gifts for the rest of the years. Yeah, he uh, he could afford it. He, uh, he, he needed some help there. So I've got a list of questions from the fans. Fans are always curious and they always want to send in questions. So one of the questions they want to know, what is the best thing about being on the bus, going on the trips? And what is the worst thing about being on the bus? Uh, I think the best thing is that you're all together. You're all just, you know, hanging out. You're all doing the same thing. Um, you know, spent playing cards is usually how we pass a lot of time. Movies. Um, the worst is probably just got to be that you're on the bus. Uh, it's it's <laughs> there's nothing too glamorous about it. And you know, sometimes when you have to sleep on the bus, it it's a little bit bumpy and and it's hard to sleep. But uh, other than that, you're you're with the guys, so there's not too much to complain about. So what is the best snack food as you guys are heading out on the bus? Uh, probably something light. Um, I would say like, you know, like jerky or something like that. Um, you know, like some chips, some something light, nothing to make you feel too heavy and, and stuff like that going on the bus. It's going to be a long trip and a long time to have that just sitting in there. As you're on the bus playing cards, fans want to know who's the best at it. Who's the person on your team that's more willing to probably cheat to get ahead of the game? Ah, uh, we're all, we're all pretty good. I would say, oh, best right now. I would say Brett Budgel right now is the best in our, in our young guy little table we got at the front right now. He's been, he's been winning a lot of money early on here and uh, we got to start getting him back. We got to start uh, knocking him off the top of the top of the mountain, but um, it's, it's all fun and games. So who are you rooming with when you're on the road? Yeah, I room with uh, Mikey Mellon on the road, and it's uh, it's funny. We've been rooming together the whole year, even back to uh, training camp with Minnesota. We were both hurt at the same time, and um, it just worked out that we were roommates from there. And then once we once we got here, we uh, we <laughs> we started uh, rooming together as well. And um, funny enough, he uh, he lives down the hall from me in in our apartment complex too, so we're always close by. Well, go get him, and we'll say hi to him real quick. So. <laughs> so on off nights, did you guys watch the Minnesota Wild games? And what can you take from that, and what do you try to incorporate into your own games? Yeah, try and watch them uh, as much as you can. If you're not playing, you, you throw it on and um, just kind of watch how they're how they're playing, how their how their players are are the systems and all that. Trying to trying to learn as best you can in case you know the opportunity ever comes that you need to be ready for and. You know, just watching their players play, how they see the game and how they attack it is is pretty cool, too. So anything you can take from that is, um, you know, it's another feather in your cap. So who is your favorite Minnesota Wild player? I'd probably have to say Eric Sinek. Uh, I, I, I like the way he plays. I think he plays it the right way. And, um, you know, he's he's really solid in the in the D zone and he can also contribute in the offensive zone. And uh, I think that's a pretty special trait to have. So have you ever had the opportunity to actually sit down and talk with Joel Erickson? Eck? Um, yeah, we've, we've made some small talk at, at camp sometimes and just trying to just, you know, you're having a meal together and um, you're just chatting, but um, nothing, nothing too serious. So when you guys are on the road, do you have a favorite town that you kind of circle on the schedule that you really enjoy going to? And what's something in your favorite town that you really enjoy doing? Um, I think the coolest city we, well, that we been to was uh, Milwaukee. We got a chance to go to the Bucks game while we were there, so um, that was pretty cool to watch some NBA superstars on the Bucks, and uh, they were playing the Spurs that night, so we got to watch uh, Wembenyama as well. So it was pretty cool. Um, you know, you don't get to watch uh, watch too many NBA games in person, so uh, I thought that was the coolest thing we've done in, in the in the city so far. So when you guys do meet some of those players that you have watched forever, maybe grew up watching, the fans want to know, do you guys get starstruck seeing some of those big minis big name NHL players? Uh, my first camp for sure. I was uh, – I couldn't even talk to them. I couldn't even 
you know, uh, be in the same room without, you know, stuttering my words. But uh, as you get uh, more comfortable th throughout the years and throughout camp, you, you're, you're more, uh, I guess, I don't know if confidence the right word, but, um, you know, you're able to, uh, you know, uh, talk and uh, hold your own out on the ice as well. So as you get ready for the games, do you have a favorite go-to warm-up playlist or favorite song that gets you inspired every single game? Usually when uh, I'm driving to the rink, I'll listen to the Chicago Bulls uh, intro as I'm as I'm driving in. And that uh, that usually uh, gets me uh, gets me ready to go. I, I love watching the Last Dance documentary, and um, I, I don't know that I really enjoyed that song. So. You mentioned the last dance. What else are you binge watching on TV right now? Uh, just finished watching uh, Suits. Uh, finished Suits, so I'm kind of in between right now. Uh, I'm looking for some suggestions actually. So, um, I've been getting some good ones. I heard uh, Animal Kingdom's pretty good, so I might have to give that one a try. But uh, I'm I'm open to anything right now. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you really like to do for a living? Are there any other sports you gravitate towards? Growing up, I I played soccer and, and lacrosse, and um, I would say probably I was better at soccer. I, I enjoyed it um, more. So if I was to play another sport, I'd probably try and pursue pursue soccer. But um, if I was to go away from um, the an athletic background, I'll probably go into uh, law enforcement. My dad's in law enforcement, and um, he's taken me around before and um, showed me what his you know day to day life is like. And um, you know, when I was younger, I thought it was it was something uh, that uh, you could always fall back on. So, do you have any special hidden talents that you want the fans to know about you? <laughs> hidden talents. Hidden talents. I don't think so. I'm I'm not too I'm not too uh, too special. I don't have uh, too many hidden talents. So with the upcoming MLB season being, what is it, less than 30 days away now, do you have an MLB go-to team? And if so, who is your favorite player on that team? Yeah, I'm wearing an L.A. hat right now, so my answer is going to be conflicting. But uh, I like the St. Louis Cardinals. They've always been my team. I started watching baseball when when they won the World Series in 2011. And, you know, David Fries with his home run. But uh, my favorite player on the Cardinals right now is Arenado. I think he just makes some unbelievable plays out at third base. Do any of the Iowa Wild players do an MLB fantasy league, and are you going to take part in it this year? I haven't heard anything uh, about it, but uh, they did. Uh, they did a fantasy one, uh, fantasy football one earlier, and um, that got pretty heated. So uh, <laughs> I would imagine they're taking a little bit of a break off the uh, MLB fantasy. Who did win the NFL uh, fantasy this year? I think it was Brendan Miller. I think he ended up uh, pulling it out in the finals. What's the best thing about the fans down in Des Moines as you reflect on your time there? Uh, I think just how nice they are, how friendly they've been towards me, you know, when I've I've met them in the, on a few appearances. And, um, you know, they, they, they really care. And, um, you know, they, they take the time. They come to the games. And um, they're pretty pretty knowledgeable about, you know, what everything that you've done so far. And, you um, uh, how your what your play is like on the ice so um it's kind of it's been really nice and uh I've, I've really enjoyed it so far and we had a fan submit a question that i thought was absolutely kind of hilarious we're going to kind of go off that as we talk about the fans do you guys absolutely love it when the fans are yelling shoot on the ice or is that something that just completely bugs you guys uh i think it's pretty funny i've seen those uh things <laughs> when the fans are yelling shoot and uh to be honest i i can't really hear it um but uh when when you're sitting above and you're watching you can hear it and i think i it always it always makes me laugh listening to it so as you kind of think about growing up playing the game what advice do you have for kids that want to get into hockey or are just learning to skate for the first time um for me um it's not so much a a hockey quote it was uh watching russell wilson in the super bowl he uh he just won and his quote was why not you and i thought that was i thought it was perfect um like why can't why can't it be you who gets a a chance to follow your dream or why can't why not you be able to uh you know play as long as you can and play it you're basically playing a kid sport for you know the rest of your life which would be um pretty amazing so um i've always stuck with that and uh, if you're a kid trying to 
you know, get into hockey and, and you think you really enjoy it and really might like it, well, why not you? Why can't you um, follow that as long as you can? And you want Minnesota Wild fans to remember about you as you get ready to hopefully make your Minnesota Wild debut either this season or next season. I'm always going to give it all I got. Uh, you're never going to have to doubt if I'm if I'm giving it my all out there. There, there won't be a night off, that's for sure. Um, if, there's, if there's a game on or a practice, um, I'm just going to push it all and um, give it everything I have. Well, that's all the questions I have. I just want to take this time once again to say thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget the Iowa Wild have games coming up, end of the season coming up. They're pushing for a playoff spot. And don't forget this is Tommy Caden is always saying, go wild. Oh,